Okay, so the next box will be box three. Now, uh, this one does start on the last note of previous box, so. In G, we're talking about the seven on the uh, low E string. <coughs> so this box will look like this. And that will be a uh, 7, 8 and 10 on the low E string. On the A and the D strings you've got 7, 9 and 10. Then you've only got 7 and 9 on the G string. Then you've got 7, 8, 10 on the top two strings. Okay, so um, obviously if you have to, you have to memorize those, I'm going to put these um, diagrams into the thread for this video as well, so if you're really stuck um, and you can't pause the video for some reason, go and get the diagram, you can learn from those, okay? Next box will also follow on nicely straight afterwards, so uh, if you've got 7, 8, uh, 10 from box 3, box 4 will go from the 10 just like a pentatonic would. So this box will be like this. <coughs> okay, so that is um, 10, 12 on the low E string. Then you've got uh, 9, 10, 12 on the next two strings. Then you've got 10, 11, 12 on the G string. Then you've got, uh, so you've got 9, 11, 12 on the G string, I said that wrong. And then you've got 10, 12, 13 on the B string. And then 10, 12 on the high E string. So. Okay. And now um, the last box, which some people say doesn't even exist because it's just two halves of the same of the first and last box. Okay, <laughs> anyway, the last box will go like this. Now that will start on the 10 as well. So it starts on the same fret as box 4, but box 5 is 10, 12, 14 and that's the same on the lowest three strings so <coughs> so then you get to the G string and you've got 11 12 14 on the B string you've got 12 13 15 and then on the high E string you've got 12 14 15 And then that's all the boxes. What happens after that is they repeat. So um, <coughs> when you get back up here, that lowest note of um, box uh, five is the first note of box one again. You can see the next note in the scale is that G there, which is your root. So you can see that box one follows on box two. Box three. 